but I had lost 60 points. Oh my gosh. Um, wait, no, I don't want to go another month. What did I do? Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video I'm going to be talking about how long it takes to see physical changes from weight loss. So if you enjoy this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and let's get started. So just recently on my Instagram, I posted a video where it says if you start today in two weeks, you'll feel it in four weeks, you'll see it in six weeks, friends and family will notice and then in eight weeks, others will notice. And that's something that I used to see all the time when I was first starting out my weight loss journey. I'd always see it on like Pinterest and stuff and people quote it all the time, but it was something that did keep me going because especially in the beginning, I was not seeing progress on myself. And it was especially challenging because Adam and I were losing weight together. So that's my husband. If you guys don't know, we've both lost 70 pounds with Weight Watchers and we both started at the same time, but I started to notice the differences on him sooner. And other people also started to notice his weight loss before they noticed mine. And so that was really hard not to get in my head about, but it was a challenge that I got through. And I just had to continue reminding myself that the progress was coming through the changes that I was making. It is just slow, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk more about it today and kind of show you guys how my weight loss journey went with losing weight, how long it took me to see changes, how long it took others to see changes. And I'm gonna share some pictures. So most of these pictures are in my hidden folder on my phone, which I've mentioned before. If you take a picture and then click the dots at the top, you can go ahead and hit hide photo and it sends it to a hidden folder. And that's where I keep most of my progress pictures just because if anyone ever just goes through my photos, then they're not gonna see them. It's in a separate folder away from them and it's just my personal photos. So. My before pictures, I took a good amount of them and actually most of my before pictures I took almost a week after I first started Weight Watchers, which I realized as I was into my journey, I didn't really take them the first day I actually started. I actually only took one, which is this one, which I'll pop it up on the screen. That was my first picture I took on the day we started Weight Watchers. But then the next couple days I took a few in different outfits and I've mentioned that before. So I have a bunch of before pictures at my heaviest weight or a few pounds under my heaviest weight, but that is my starting point that I was looking at from my body. So I will show you guys those. I'm six feet tall. I started at 252 pounds and I carry a lot of weight in my back. I have kind of a hunch from how I stand with my posture being six feet tall. I've I've always just kind of hunched my shoulders. It's something I'm still working on, but I carry a lot of weight in my back and I carried a lot in my stomach. So starting out that first week, I took a good amount of progress pictures and that was me at my heaviest. Then the next pictures I took were two weeks after. And honestly, these are still a lot of my before pictures that I use for my photos and stuff on my social media. So even though it was technically a couple weeks into my journey, those are really the only before pictures I have. After two weeks, I really didn't notice a difference in my body. I wasn't seeing many changes. I was feeling better though. I definitely was feeling better but I hadn't seen anything that I noticed for the fact that the scale was going down. So going over to my weigh-ins and Weight Watchers, two weeks in when I took that photo, I had already lost 10 pounds. So that was a 10 pound difference and I didn't see any of the changes on myself. Nobody at work noticed. I don't think Adam noticed really. And at that point I hadn't noticed the changes on him either. So then if we fast forward two more weeks, I had lost 16 pounds at this point and I was starting to see a little bit of a difference. This is where the pictures were actually very helpful because this was technically a month into my journey and I was feeling better, the scale was going down, but still on my body, I didn't see much of a difference. So being able to put the pictures side by side, I can definitely tell now that there's a little bit of a difference, nothing too crazy, but definitely making some progress. So that was a month in. Again, at that point, nobody had noticed at work. I think at that point, Adam and I were realizing the differences on each other, but but he was actually having people notice at work at that point. So that was maybe like a month, a month and a half in that people were noticing. So it was hard not to get in my head that we were doing the exact same things and people were noticing the weight loss on him and not on me, but I had to just stick with it and keep going. So then skipping ahead another two weeks. So this is six weeks into my weight loss journey. I had lost 22 pounds at this point and I was definitely starting to feel a difference with clothing that I was putting on. I remember that sports bra was tight, but it was not as tight as it had been in the past. Like I wouldn't even wear it before and I was starting to notice that my stretch marks weren't as bright red as they were in the past. So that was six weeks in. At that point, I think maybe a couple people had noticed at work, but I think it really took about two and a half to two months for people to see that I had started to lose weight. And that was during COVID. So we did have masks on our face, making it harder to see the difference in my face because 
I think my face is one of the first places that I saw the weight loss just because I think so much of it was just inflammation from my food habits and just the unhealthy lifestyle I was living. I feel like my face was just kind of puffy all the time. And it only took a couple weeks to notice that my face was starting to go down a little bit. So that was something that I did notice. But again, having the pictures really helped because I didn't fully see it. I thought I still looked the same, but I did feel it and the pictures helped. Going forward then to June 28th. So this is two months into my journey. This is where the pictures really, really helped. I was really starting to see a difference, even in my upper body. My stomach was getting smaller. I could definitely see it there, definitely in my face and then my upper body. And my arms were even starting to get a little bit smaller at that point. So the pictures really helped me. And then I was at 27 pounds down. So I had lost 27 pounds. It took that much until people started to really notice at work until I was starting to feel more of a difference in my clothing. And that's something that really kept me pushing was trying on new clothes and starting to notice that they were looser than they were before, looking at the pictures and seeing the progress that I was making. So at that point, I still hadn't worked out at all. That was all just from my diet, from Weight Watchers and tracking. And I was just losing weight based on my nutrition. Okay, then fast forward another month. This was three months into my journey. I had lost 37 pounds at this point. It was July 28th that I took this picture. And at this point, I was starting to get more comfortable in clothes that I used to wear, some of my older clothes that I used to fit in. So that was exciting. Again, I started to see more progress. My stomach was toning up a little bit more at this point and my arms and chest were getting a little bit smaller, but I was definitely feeling and noticing the difference from weight loss. At this point, people at my work knew that I was losing weight. I think that that's when like family, I didn't see my family that much at that time. So they hadn't really noticed because I hadn't seen them. But when I saw them, they noticed right away. And I feel like that was about three months in. And I also just want to say, I feel like my progress was actually very, very quick moving for what I expected and just honestly for me in general. I know that I had made some huge changes when I first started Weight Watchers, the biggest one being not getting fast food one to two times a day. That was something that we were doing all the time and also just like drinking a lot of alcohol and a lot of my calories. Those were two huge changes that I made that I think made the biggest difference from the start. And that's why I think I was able to see the scale move right away and why I also lost 37 pounds in three months. I think that making those changes in the beginning just made me feel so much better that it just made it even easier to stick with. And it just made it easier for me to start to see results because it was such a big change and it was really making a difference with my health and just my nutrition and everything. So I think watching portion sizes also really helped me. I didn't know what I was doing when it came to that. And that with Weight Watchers also helped me to lose weight quickly. But I think staying consistent with it helped. I think that staying motivated and finding ways to stay motivated really kept me going for those first couple months when I didn't fully see it at first, but the scale was moving. So I feel like with other people, sometimes they don't have the scale move, but they see a difference. And honestly, it just depends on your journey. It depends on your body and the habits that you're changing from and what you're adapting to. I really wanted to just make small changes in the beginning, and that's pretty much what we did, but they added up to such huge results pretty quickly. And I do think the biggest part was staying consistent with it, but again, Three months is pretty much what it took for people to start to notice, for me to really, really see the difference. And at that point, that was a 37 pound difference. Okay, so fast forward six months into my journey. At this point, I was 60 pounds down and I definitely saw the difference at that point after losing 60 pounds. I felt it and my clothing size had gone down and my size at that point had gone from like a 2XL to a large maybe like a 22, 18, anywhere from that range to a 12. So my clothing size had gone down pretty significantly and that was pretty much at the point where I had almost lost all the weight that I lost on my journey. I'd lost 60 pounds. And so this is what I had looked like then. I hadn't incorporated any weightlifting at this point. I was starting to rollerblade. I had been doing that for a little bit, but still my focus was tracking with Weight Watchers and my nutrition. So this was when I started to think about weightlifting and when I was deciding how I was gonna start. But I had lost 60 pounds at this point and that's what my body looked like then. Then moving on to December when I was at 190. At this point, I had been at 190 for almost a month. Like like it had been fluctuating up and down and it was around Christmas time. So I feel like that's why it kind of stayed the same. I ended up losing a few pounds after Christmas and that's when I pretty much stayed at 180. But this is what I was like at 190 and this was kind of the last time I was at 190 until now, which is what I'm currently at. This is when I had first started going to the gym. So I hadn't really seen much change yet, but I was excited to keep going and I wanted to really focus on 
getting rid of some of my loose skin, which it's kind of hard to see in the pictures. But again, in a lot of my transformation pictures, you can't tell. I still carried a decent amount of weight on my back and I still had loose skin on my arms, legs, back, stomach, which I still do have a little bit, but it has changed so much since I first hit 190 and 180 versus now. It's definitely made a difference over the past two and a half years. Then going forward to when I hit 180, this was when I hit my lowest weight. At this point, I felt much smaller and I felt like I had lost a lot of weight, but I didn't feel very toned. I didn't feel very strong. I had been weightlifting for a couple months and had seen a little bit of progress, but nothing too crazy. And this was just when I had hit 180. So I stayed here for a little bit, honestly it went very slowly from 180 to 190, but that's where I'm at now, like I said. So I'll show you guys a current picture of me at 190. This is after about two and a half, three years of consistent resistance training and weightlifting. That is the progress that I have made. So my weight has actually gone up. I've built more muscle, but my body has gotten kind of smaller. So the amount of fat that I carry on my stomach has gone down, my arms, my legs, it's all gotten a lot more toned and muscular. And because of that, the scale goes up, but my body looks different in progress pictures and just in general in person and everything. So it's been kind of hard mentally to not focus too much on the scale, but my body has still continued to make changes and improve in my opinion, because I want to continue building muscle and the scale stayed the same, but this is how my body's progressed. It has continued to progress. I've gotten stronger. I still have a little loose skin, but honestly, it's not what it used to be. Like even when I would shake my arms like this, it's really toned up a lot. And that was something I never expected. Even my back skin, like when I wear a tank top or something like this, it's always going to hang over like this, which it's skin. There's nothing I can do about it, but it used to hang over so much more. And ever since incorporating more back exercises and shoulder and chest and everything, I've built more muscle here. And you can see that it's just not as loose as it used to be. And honestly, I didn't expect it to even improve as much as it has, but it's just taken consistency. I've stayed consistent with my nutrition and I've stayed really consistent in the gym. And the same things happened with my legs toning up, my stomach, my stomach still has loose skin, but it continues to feel more firm and just toned. And that's why I'm just sticking with what I'm doing. I focus on water, I focus on sleep, and then nutrition and exercise. So that's just how my body has changed and transformed over the past three years. It definitely took time in the beginning to see any progress on me. I'm really glad that I took progress pictures because of that. I honestly wish I would have taken progress videos too, because I think that would have really helped me. But when I was really struggling in the beginning, even when the scale was moving, I didn't see much progress on myself and the pictures really helped to see that. So I definitely recommend taking progress pictures. It took me about a month to six weeks to really start to see the changes and start to feel them with clothing. And then it took another month and a half to have other people realize the changes, especially at work and stuff like that. So it's a journey and it's going to take time, but just remember to stick to it and stay consistent because when you're doing the right things and especially when you're feeling better because of them, the progress will come. And that's really what kept me going. I wanted to stay consistent, but I felt so much better. And even when I didn't see it, I just felt it. And I knew that I needed to keep going and I'm so happy that I did. And I continue to do that. That's what I use to continue to push me nowadays and to keep going and making more progress. So I take it one day at a time, but that is how long it has taken me to see the physical changes on my body and for others to see them. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.